Today we'll be going through a sketch of the DJI Inspire drone. Uh, this is a fun one to sketch. Uh, whether you're new to sketching or experienced, I think the best way to practice or learn for the first time is to just watch other people sketch. So today we'll be going through the whole process from beginning to end. Let's get started. So for the majority of my sketches, I just use a set of Copics in their various shades of gray and Prismacolor black and white pencils. Uh, to begin with, we're starting with the C0 Copic marker. And the hardest part, I think, is staring at that blank canvas and the intimidation of you know, laying down those very first lines. As you can see here, I'm just getting a feel for where that rendering will fit on the page, um, where that camera goes, where the body goes. And you can see that I've you know, messed up a couple times just to get a feel for where things will actually go. And since this is a time lapse, which is pretty great, you can see those, those lines start to fade away. So you really wanna keep things super light because it really helps you, you know, get that out of your head or um, and onto the paper. So don't worry about messing up here. Everything that you're laying down with the C0 will slowly fade away. Uh, so I'm outlining all the basic forms uh, in their various geometries, you know, that the camera is really just um, an extruded cylinder. Uh, the body, I guess, is the more complicated feature. You know, you've got that really nice curvature that gives that the Inspire drone its, its character. Um, everything else, though, is just a basic composition of your uh, typical shapes. Uh, rectangular prisms, cylinders, so on and so forth. So now I've shifted to a darker C3 because I'm getting more confident with where these elements are in relation to one another. As we continue to go, um, you'll see now that I'm pulling out the colored pencil because it's a way of me actually committing to these lines and these elements um, slowly and more confidently. So a, co a colored pencil in this case is helping me outline all the details um, before we jump into using a actual pen to commit. And you can think of this process as kind of like making your own coloring book. Uh, you're drawing in all the details that eventually will come back through and fill in with color. Uh, and then this part of the process is where you get to determine how detailed and patient you want to be with your sketch. Um, the more detail you add and the more patient you are, obviously the better your sketch will look. Um, so in this case, not only am I outlining the more serious constructions, the important elements, but also uh, looking through the sketch and adding in the tiny little features and details that'll make it realistic at the end. Um, so now for the fun part, uh, we're grabbing some of the darker markers. And what I generally do is I start to lay down the um, general shadows and highlights, uh, different various parts of the product. Uh, some people will go through the entire product with a light and, and then slowly work their way up to darker color, but I like focusing on one element of the sketch at a time. So unfortunately I've jumped through a lot of stuff where my camera's SD card got filled, but uh, at its core it's just layering those colors. And the fun part is where you come back uh, to the sketch with your color pencils and really make things pop. Uh, the white in this case, uh, it's not just serves as the highlights, but as the brightest part of the product, which is the body of the drone. Um, and the black colored pencils, those Prisma colors, really can darken up those shadows. Um, and finally, you'll add your details as fit. Um, any additional colors, in this case, I use, I have a bunch of Prisma colors lying around for um, the lens and the lights. And there you have it. So this was a shorter tutorial because I did lose a lot of footage, but I hope you all still found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. Uh, keep on practicing, keep on sketching, and subscribe if you already haven't. I promised myself I'd upload more videos in 2018. Uh, be sure to check out the rest of the sketches on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.